hi everyone welcome back to my channel and i hope you all are doing great if you are new here you're highly welcome to tasty city my name is hope and in today's video i'll be sharing this jollof recipe with fried plantain and fish if you like to see how i made this keep watching don't forget to click the like button subscribe and click on the bell notification that bell notifies you whenever i upload a new video so without further ado let's get started For this recipe, I'll be using basmati rice. You may use any rice of your choice. I have my mackerel fish, some chicken stock, plantain, and in here I have my pepper blend, which is a combination of plum tomatoes, bell peppers, scotch bonnet pepper, onions, ginger, and garlic. Next with me here is my Derica tomato paste. You may use any brand of your choice. My sliced onions. My shrimp seasoning or Maggi crayfish. Some crayfish powder. And to season, I'll be using curry powder, thyme, nutmeg. I've got some bay leaves and lastly some salt to taste. So let's get cooking. All right, beautiful people. So to begin this recipe, I'll start by frying the fish and the fish has already been seasoned earlier on with just salt. I would like the fish to infuse some flavor inside this oil because I'll be using the oil to fry the jello stew later. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and transfer all the fishes inside my pan because my pan is um, big enough to contain all the fishes. But however, if you're using a small pan or pot, you can fry yours in two badges. So I'm just going to go ahead and fry the fishes until they are nice and golden brown. At this point they are ready so I'll take them out and place on a paper towel to absorb or drain the excess oil. To make the jello stew in a clean dry pot, I'll be adding two cooking spoons of oil from the same oil we just used to fry the fish. And once it is nice and heated up, I'll go ahead and add in my sliced onion and I'll fry or saute for about two to three minutes. The next step will be frying the tomato paste for about 4 to 6 minutes to get rid of the sour or tangy taste. This step is very important so please do not skip this step except you are not using tomato paste. Next, I'll be pouring in my tomato pepper blend and this pepper blend has already been steamed dry or boiled down. As you can see, it is very concentrated. So at this point, I'm just going to mix this and I'll allow to fry on a medium heat for about 15 minutes thereabout. Thank you. 
all right so just before i allow the stew to fry i'm gonna be throwing in my two bay leaves because they are dry so that they will start um hydrating and also release their beautiful aroma all right lovely people so this gel of stew has been frying for like 15 minutes now so at this point i'm going to go ahead and pour in my blended crayfish next i'll add my shrimp seasoning once that is added i'm going to be adding my salt to taste i'll be adding my curry powder thyme and nutmeg and once that step is completed i'm going to go ahead and stir all ingredients to combine and then i'll go ahead and fry for additional two to three minutes So next it is time to pour in the rice and I have already washed the rice behind camera with cold water while I was waiting for the jello stew to fry. So you want to wash the rice as many times as possible till the water runs clear or you can as well parboil the rice if you prefer. Mine was not parboiled so I only washed with um, cold water until the water was very pure as drinking water if you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, so at this point, I'm just going to stir that in. Once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and pour in my chicken stock. At this point, I'm going to stir or mix very well, test for salt and seasoning and adjust if needed. And when adding in your stock or water or be it any liquid you are using for the rice, you have to be very careful of the amount of liquid you add in. Just make sure it is about the same level with the rice or just about maybe half inch above the rice so that you don't end up with a very um, mushy rice after cooking so after stirring i tested for salt and seasoning mine was perfect so at this point i'm just going to cover up the pot allow this to cook down on a medium heat until the liquid dries up so while that is cooking i'll quickly go ahead and get my plantains ready for frying All right, so just before we begin to fry the plantain, I'm just going to quickly check on the rice because I'm still waiting for the oil to heat up before we begin the frying process of the plantain. So at this point, I'm going to be stirring the rice and once I'm done, I'm going to be adding about one cup of hot water because I'm sure the rice is not um, yet cooked. Like I said, this rice was not um, parboiled. 
but however if you are using a parboiled rice i'll suggest you skip adding water at this point just stir and once you are done stirring you can foil the pot with a foil paper or place a parchment paper on top and then allow to cook on the lowest heat until the rice is fully cooked So now I'll add the plantains, fry till they are nice and golden brown. The plantains are nice and ready so I'll go ahead and take them out now and place them on a paper towel to drain the excess oil. okay my beautiful people so back to our jollof it is now fully cooked and the heat has been turned off i'm going to stir now to fluff it up oh my goodness guys just take a look at those grains like they look so fluffy and separated this smells so amazing at this point, I'll be going in with my green onions or scallions. You can also use the purple onion. So now I'm just going to stir that in and we will be done cooking like this food is as good as ready. All right, my beautiful people, we've come to the end of today's video and I hope you give this recipe a try and let me know how it turns out for you. You can always tag me on Instagram at TastyCity or leave me your comment down below this video. I would love to read from you. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you are not yet already. And also click on the bell sign to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you all so, so much for watching. Until I see you next time with something delicious, stay blessed and bye for now.